All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to safely load your kayak onto your roof rack and strap it down for safe travel and how to unload it once you get to the boat ramp, okay? This would be a great video for you to pay attention to that every kayak fisherman must know how to do and how to proper tie downs for that. All right, guys? So you guys stay tuned, watch carefully, and if you have any questions or suggestions, I'm open to it. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys? Let's get to it. All right, y'all, we out here at the car right now. We almost ready to go. Um, we're gonna load the kayak on there. I know you guys, a couple of guys have been asking, how do I load it on here? Well, I have a roof basket now. It's different than just a general racks. Um, but I wanna give a special, special thank you um, to one of my one of my buddies. Um, he's a subscriber on the channel, uh, Glenn. Um, you'll see his comment right down here. I'll try to put it there for you. Glenn, thank you so much, man, for these foam pads. I found a way to put them on with some uh, Velcro straps. Um, and we're gonna see how it works with the kayak today. So let, let's check it out. But this is how I did it. Hopefully the sun isn't glaring too much, guys. I apologize for that, the sun is rising. But uh, I Velcroed the straps straight through here. I put the strap straight through the foam like this. I'll go around the back side so you're able to see that. So it's a slit right through there. Put a slit right through there. Straps right there. Got them from about $5 from um, Academy Sports. Put both foam pads right here and did the same thing in the front and repeat. So guys, so another part of my preparation is I put my straps up here that I'm going to ratchet it down on. I've usually just um, hang them around this way, like this, boom, I hang them and I toss them over when I'm ready, um, like this, put them through and then take that buckle, you see it's padded, it's a good thing to get these guys, these are from NRS. Um, this is from, um, these are NRS um, 15 um, foot straps, but they're padded. So when I throw them over, they don't damage my vehicle, see? Because they're padded, they're rubberized. You guys should invest in some of these, okay? And I always have an extra pair in the car. So you guys should invest in those, but this is what I do is how I set up. Everything's just hanging off the side like that, okay? And I'm going to put my kayak on, and that's how I'm going to get it going. So... Another thing that I do is I take a foam yoga mat right here and I put it here because as I'm going to angle my kayak up, I don't want to scratch in my vehicle. So it slides up onto here and then I lift it on and over the top. All right. So I'm going to put you guys down. I want you guys to check out how I do it. And it's pretty much the same thing in reverse that I'll show you at the launch ramp. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get to it. So the first thing I do, so you guys can see, is I grab my handle right here, and this handle here, and this Tamarack kayak is what, 80 pounds, 90 pounds? Probably less than that, all right? But anyway, you have a heavy one, lift with your back, not just your arms, okay? I mean, sorry, not lift with your back, don't do that. Lift with your legs, not just your back. All right, boom. So I'll take a squat, all right, put it right there. That's why that pad is super important, okay? Then you come from behind your kayak, just like this, and then you grab the base, you up, up, lift with your legs, okay? And then you turn it, swivel it, get it right onto those pads. It's wet uh, from the morning dew, but there you go. Then what you do is you're gonna open your door so you can be able to see how you wanna angle that. See? Hopefully that, that glare isn't too bad for you guys. All right guys, so now I open my door 
and I get the kayak centered. So these foam pads, they're new. I'm trying them out. Well, they're new to me. I want to see how my kayak's going to lay on them. And I don't like my kayak hanging too far off the front. All right, so I think that'll be good right there. I'm going to head to the back and repeat the process. All right, guys, now what I'm gonna do now, now it's time to toss the straps over to the other side. So you see I have these, I usually like to lay them not with this facing this way, but with it facing this way without the uh, logo showing. So when you toss it over, it'll be easier to put, okay? Boom, you do it, give yourself enough slack to be able to reach the other side. Throw it over. And that's why you have that rubber there so it doesn't break your window. You don't get the metal ones because it will damage your vehicle. Same thing. Over. There we go. Now I'm back around to the other side. All right, so what I did is I looped my strap buckle to one side because what I like to do is make sure I put it through a safety ring here at the top. I use a carabiner as my safety ring. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Let me get up here with you guys. All right, so what I do is I put my buckle through a carabiner clip that I attached to, I attached to my pad eye right there, see? Just for extra security. You strap that down, I'm gonna strap it to here, and it will be on the road. All right, got everything through. I like to have mine laying down pretty nice and neat. Go through once, all right. That's why you need like a 15 foot strap. See, the foam in my cage has made it a lot higher than what I'm normally accustomed to. So, take that into consideration. This is 15 feet though. Boom. That's why you do cam straps like this. What I'm gonna do is make sure they go right up to my kayak, the top, right there. I want it. You want to make sure it's right on that edge right there, guys. Okay? You want to make sure it's right there. Somewhere around there because it gives you more tension that you can pull on. So I like to put them right there. And that'll help me leverage and pull my kayak down. See? That way. And then you repeat the same process on the other side. Like I said, hopefully guys, the sun is not your eye. I used the handle strap right there, put it through, and then ratchet it down that same way. All right? I apologize, guys. It's really hard to be able to record this and be able to show you guys this effectively. But hopefully it serves you guys justice. Please bear with me. I'm making a lot of effort for you guys right now. So. All right. Now when you get it down like that, I usually just wrap my hand and then drive my way down, pull it tight. I don't want it to move. If it moves, I'm doing it again. All right. No wiggle, see? There's no wiggle in that. So that's how it's done, guys. Look at the, sitting there on the foam. See how it's nice and centered? Straps are down on here. See, look, can't pull them. Tight, tight. And those foam pads making sure it's not buckling. Check that out. And just a pro tip, I have a, pro tip, I have a sunroof. 
I open that when I'm driving. Okay. The reason why I open that when I'm driving is because I want to be able to see if the kayak starts to shift starts to slide forward when I break and things like that. So I'm very conscious of that. And if I'm doing a long trip, Lake Lanier or something like that, I probably check maybe every 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I pull over, see if my my ratchet straps have gotten loose. Sorry, my cam straps have gotten loose and I readjust them and then keep going like that, guys. All right? All right, guys, the final step is not to let the, your tag in leave hanging. So I, I wrap it around two times, you see? And just tuck it underneath just for uh, safe travels look boom all right we're all done y'all all right y'all i hope that was very informative um that we're, we're all safely strapped down it's time to get ready to go i can show you guys how to unload that if you want to see it but it's the same process i'll show you that when i get there to the lake pretty simple pretty straightforward all right guys check it out um hopefully that's helpful to you guys if you have a heavier kayak remember lift with your legs get you a foam pad that you can put right on your car so you don't scrape up your car and also get you the rubberized cam straps nrs brand or other brands but make sure to rubberize so you can toss them over your kayak in that way so look i showed you how you can do it with the um the roof racks very simple it's even faster or a roof basket you can get you can get this done guys on your lifetime tamarack angler or any other kayak of that sort all right Thank you guys for staying tuned. Let's get to the lake, man, and let's get that therapy, boy.